Right, so what is BIM? BIM stands for Building Information Modeling. It's all about information. Let's consider a modest building where all of the key personnel work for the same company in the same office. So, Jared the boss, he calls Jennifer, the architect, and asks her to put together some ideas. She draws up a few ideas and puts them in the top drawer of the filing cabinet. Jared has a look at the drawings and asks Joe, the QS, to put some costs on it. So Joe puts a few figures together and he leaves them into the filing cabinet. Then Justin, the engineer, he throws his eyes over the proposal. He reckons Jennifer skipped a bit, skipped a bit on the foundations. So he adds in a few retainer walls and a few lenses of steel for good measure. Joe reckons it's time they got Tom, the builder, involved. So he pulls out the files from the top drawer and he says, yep, we're good to go. And I line up the lads for Monday. Of course, Liam, the project manager, he puts a program together for us. Over the weekend, Jar is in the golf club talking to his buddies about the building, and one of them tells him that he's doing it all wrong, and that he needs to use BIM, and he'll be able to track everything on his phone, and it'll save them loads of money. So Monday morning, he sacks everyone, and he tells them that they're going to have to work from home as consul consultants to finish the job. So straight after the meeting, Jennifer gets on her iPad, looks up BIM, and then she finds AnyCAD BIM solutions, and she sits. To work about getting the filing cabinet taken outside and put up into the sky onto a cloud. But now of course no one can access the files anymore. Um, so this is where ICT comes in. Now everyone has to go and get some form of ICT to access the files. Jennifer, she's used AnyCAD drawings for years so she decides to go for their new software, AnyCAD Models. It's pretty expensive uh, because she needs to put detailed information into the filing cabinet as well as take it out. It's going to cost her 7000 a year and she'll probably have to pay another 3000 in training but at least her laptop is good enough so that she saves herself that cost. Justin, he opts for any CAD structures because he knows that Jennifer is a tech guru and so he reckons that she'd have done all the research so he forks out another 10 grand. Joe, he opts for build spongy figures uh, but again it costs him around 10 grand when everything was added up. Software was a bit cheaper but his old laptop which was perfect for Excel, won't run the new software. Tom, he only needs to read the information, so the software was reasonably cheap, but he had to buy a new tough iPad that wouldn't break if you dropped it when getting out of the digger. Liam needs one to prepare and pack to track the program, so he decides to go for prima cad time. It costs around the same as the others. The problem is, however, Jennifer software, that speaks UK English, but Justin's, his speaks US English, they're almost the same except when it comes to things like elevator in Justin's, it's a lift in Jennifer's. Joe's, however, that speaks Spanish. Now, the others can translate it, but they don't always get it right. Liam's prima cad, that speaks French, which the others can handle, but his can't speak Spanish. The one person, however, that everyone has forgotten about is the M&E guy, Bernard. But everything is awesome because he's just finished uh, a job uh, that we're using BIM already. So he's well ahead of the team. The only problem is the software he was using, Bend the Little Pipes, only speaks Chinese. And I can't talk to any of the lads after. Now he's left wondering if he's going to have to fork out another seven grand on any cat pipes and then try to learn the whole new software package. So now we have a building which was going to start a week ago. And has been delayed and has already cost an extra 50 grand in software um, before it's even started. Look, the reality is that BIM is here to stay, but what you really need to take from it is that you just need to take time to research the options and to clearly identify what your company will get from implementing BIM and which option is best for you before rushing out and making a big investment.